We're gonna do something they say never to do. And that's overtrain the rear delts today. We started with uh, up high rear delts with a rotation of the elbows underneath. So it's more flat, not rotated here, but flat. So it's a little bit more rear delt and uh, rear delt and side delt combination. So it's more of a pose. whoop -a! Now your trainer's gonna go, no, you can't do that. What you gotta do is you gotta lift your elbows up and pull them in like this. This is how we do it in Louisiana. <laughs> I was gonna get some crawfish and then, uh, so anyways, oh, yeah. we're gonna do that. So we started off there, then we jumped to the mid, whoo, but we put the bench back. So it's almost like a stop, but we're sitting. Then here's power, bye ya. Elbows, perfect. Come on. Now, ooh, the heaviest for the last one. Ooh, look at that arch. Oh, yeah, get it up, yeah, get more. it up. One more, let's go. Come on, all the way. Yeah. Good. Ooh. <laughs> Everything. So that rear delt just went into mid back traps, yeah, triceps. Next time. Yeah, we can do it first. I always go the hardest last. If you haven't figured this out, why is that? Yeah, why? You meant it. Payback. That's right. <laughs> so with that being said, um, a total of nine sets for rear delts. Okay, what? Yeah, yeah. Rear delts, such a small muscle. And I'm gonna be like, that's gonna be a little bit overtraining. Oh, I don't know what accent that accent. was meant. That was a different yeah. accent. I don't know. But anyways, I love Gavna. That's all I got. What? No, you got more. Come that on. Was three. Let's go. That was a three. Come on. Ooh. And when you get here. We just turn those rear delts into tricep cool. kickbacks. I know. <laughs> <laughs> We're okay. going. But here's another thing. Right. Lynn's is off season and we're gonna be doing some heavier weights with her. So here's another thing. So that whole cheat curl mentality or the partial squats where you load that weight up or the rear delts and you're flexing it through and everything's moving. It's okay. It's okay. If you comprehend why you're doing what you're doing and it's fitting into the plan at the right time. So take that into consideration. Um, so there's a lot of factors to it. I know this is tough. You get a couple more? Because I really like how you're traps and, and the mid back and the tr the rear delts are oh, even fine. And I gave you everything I have. I almost passed out. Give me hey. more Mona. Have you I want have everything. You? Have you? Ooh, easy on those girls. See? Um nice quads from the other day. What's up? Stuck, stuck. Here we go. Stuck in the middle. Good. Nice. Good Mo. Come on. Look at that. Good. See what I'm saying Come about on. everything's flexing now? Two more. Let's go. Come on. And again, this is the last of it. Good. Everything's going Come through on. there. Yes. Squeeze. All right. Yes. I know some of you are going to do this. I know some of you are going to go, but I just want to isolate the rear delts. Cool. Congratulations. Go do that. Come back in a year. But unfollow us. Go do that in a year. Come back and let me show your improvements. Because what you completely miss was the secondary where the first stuff we did was the isolation then the fatigue now the power in complete reverse and again this is something different triggers your body different it's a complete shock to your body and you're gonna wake up tomorrow going holy sheesh my rear delts haven't been this sore in a year those are the small minute things where you guys continuously try to do i just want to isolate this and just be this guy in the gym just just the there's so much more going on to this stuff, guys. Uh, hopefully you guys are capturing all this information. Uh, if you didn't know, Jeffrey's here now. It's, um, What's up? It's about 2.30 in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. I saw him this morning, 12 mm -hmm. hours ago. Yeah, we uh, killed it this morning. <laughs> hey, did we not kill it though? We did kill it. We knocked a lot of stuff off. So another expert trainer said, never do close grip uprights. Because what that's going to do is gonna, it's going to hurt your shoulders. And the old school guys did that and they all hurt their shoulders. Actually, they didn't though. That was nice of him to say that. Also, close grip uprights are incredible. It's an incredible exercise. And it also engages your traps, uh, your rear delts, your side delts. And if done professionally and correctly, gives you some really nice shoulders. It really does. Now, the secondary to this is his point was it's going to cause an injury. And we go back to the point that everything causes injuries. You can walk downstairs everything. and cause an injury. So to listen to him say, 
Trust me, you'll never get injured as long as you don't do close grip uprights. Yeah. It might be the dumbest thing ever said in the world. You get injured sleeping. You get <laughs> you sleep on the side, you're Kelly done. Kelly does. <laughs> Kelly Literally. does. So again, no offense to him, but it's again, it's one of these guys that uh, he lifts, he injures himself by doing something like that. And he was also doing other stuff um, because I saw photos of him, what he used to look like. And now what he looks like, two different worlds. Used to look great, looks terrible now. So understand that there's a lot of stuff that dries out ligaments. And if you guys don't know that, do the research on that. Does it build muscle? Hell yeah, it builds muscle. Is it worth it? Not if it's gonna dry out your ligaments. Why? Because ligaments is longevity, muscle is temporary. Mm -hmm. So again, it goes back to him being an excellent trainer, which he's not, because he's going off of that bad example, which is himself, and not what he should have done. And he's telling you what not to do, which isn't the right way to do it. So for you kids, close grip is good. Again, done right, done professionally. Do you pull this up and pull it inside? Well, not if you don't got the range of motion. If up, you got the range of motion, up and inside. 100%. So again, feel free to pull it outside. And then as you get better and better and better, and remember, I'm 76 years old. <laughs> so for me, my range of motion for a 76 year old, 77 in January. So again, range of motion is a huge thing. Um, obviously, the more you destroyed your body in a sense of, of connective tissue and bone and everything, uh, that impingement in the shoulder and that cartilage, you're going to wear and tear it down. Hopefully you guys are being smart enough with that stuff and you're taking healthy vitamins and eating in the correct way to build that stuff instead of deteriorate. So deteriorate. Upright rows, nice and easy. Step back. Close grip, lightweight, lightweight, close grip. Here's another good gauge too. If you start feeling things, like this cat should have felt like a couple years ago. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. I gotta live with that shit. Um, he should have at some point, when he started going, ooh, that doesn't feel good, go, hey, this might not be the exercise. It might be what everything I'm doing to the body, not just an exercise. One exercise doesn't hurt your lower back. One exercise doesn't hurt the knees. It's a combined, combined amount of things yeah, that are doing that. The most common thing on people hurting their lower back is like twisting to grab something off the floor. It happens. Moving the couch. Yeah. I hear more about I, that. I, Pop the bicep. Yeah, What'd you do? I, I bent Lift down to no. So literally go put some dog food down and I was like, oh my God, I just pulled my back. I mean, small things, small thing. That's the most, I never heard well, my back from Well, that's because lifting. you should never twist and bend. See what I did there? He didn't do nothing. But let me ask you this, guys, okay? <laughs> Whoever said that black does not make you jacked? I mean, I mean, come on. Holy it's sheesh. black. Oh, it, and she's still jacked. Yeah. Uh, it's not fair. It's not fair. Trends are beautiful drug. <laughs> Hey, look at you. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> we listening to music? We are. It's the most, the most sad music. That sad you know. music. Yeah. Officer of Love. Are you Who picked me? this channel? Michael. Who picked this channel? Michael. Okay. This guy. Let's move on to this <laughs> artist. Enjoy this video. Like, Friday? Whatever, we're doing the other five? Then, Friday. Friday. Friday, we're doing the other five squats. The second of the five. We're doing 15 oh, all together. Fry. Yay. Fry. Something mm -hmm. that day on Friday. Hey. Hey. I don't know she's making up stuff. January, I got to work out. Yeah. Get out of my face. Let's go. Bang. 